Hey guys, PS4 Trophies, and I'm going to go and enter the Gwent Tournament here in Navigrad. This is up here in the map, you can see it marked, and if you come in here, you can enter a tournament. You need a powerful deck, and when you go to it, it'll tell you whether or not you uh, have a deck good enough. Uh, it's You have to need a level 5 deck in order to do it. I'm using the Northern Realms deck. Uh, and I'm using the Siege Master leader card. You can use one of the many different leader cards that you can have. Uh, I have this one just because it gives you a, a times two on all your Siege units. You can use that ability once per match. Now, as far as the cards that I have, I have the Decoy. I really wish I had a third one. I only have two. And then I have uh, three Commander's Horns, uh, a Biting Frost that I kind of mix with the, uh, the Clear Weather card, uh, kind of go between the two. If I had another decoy, I probably wouldn't use it. Although I do use the Biting Frost for the final opponent. Now the rest of my deck is filled with uh, a lot of cards that are okay. Uh, the ma main premise of my deck is to be able to draw more cards and to pull out cards from my discard pile. And that's really the key to have kind of a card advantage. Now when you enter this tournament, it's a, a thousand uh, crown entry fee and you have to beat four opponents. And if you beat all four of them, you will get the Gwent Master Trophy. Now the problem is, you have to beat each of the four opponents. You can't lose. Uh, so if you lose, you're, you're tough out of luck. You can't get the trophy. But you can reload a save. I recommend between each round making a manual save, uh, just in case you do lose. Although I don't think you can between the second and third round. But uh, at the beginning here, uh, we're going to have 10 cards drawn to us. We're going to choose two that we're going to redraw. Now, I'm looking for spy cards and decoy cards, most importantly. Uh, the spy cards are the ones with the little white uh, eye uh, symbol on the, on, the, uh, on the bottom of the card there. And uh, those are going to allow me to put that into play and put it into the opponent's battlefield but allows me to draw two cards. So that is really kind of the, the critical thing, especially with the, these really tough opponents. Uh, it makes it really hard. He just plays a spy card as well. Actually, it, the hero version, which I don't have. I wish I had that one. So he gave me uh, one of his cards, but he got to draw two cards. Uh, I also have me meta cards. Uh, they will allow you to put into play that card in addition to another card in your discard pile. So that helps me uh, be able to get more uh, people or creatures or whatever out into play. Now I'm going to place a decoy on a spy card uh, that allows me to uh, essentially use it against him. So we're just going to kind of go back and forth. In the, in the first round, I'm really just trying to build up my, my cards. Now, as far as the cards, you have to go and collect all these things. And they're everywhere. There's a lot of Gwent uh, uh, quests you can get off the uh, boards. Uh, you go to different and beat different people and get their cards. Uh, you go a lot of different shops and vendors, merchants, everything. Uh, you can play uh, a, a game of Gwent with them. And if you win, you'll get a card. Now, as far as the cards that I'm specifically using in my deck, I will put... Uh, put a list of them in the uh, in the description below as, as well as uh, a rough idea of where I got them as well as a couple links to different uh, guides that I use to help me find specific cards that I was looking for uh, I, I found uh, a spreadsheet a document that kind of lists where they're at and, and how you get them uh, as well as a website that listed uh, which quests you had to go and do to get which cards uh, so that'll that'll help you. Uh, you don't have to use my deck. My deck's not perfect. Uh, again, I'm missing a decoy card. I'm missing the uh, one of the spy cards as well, the uh, zero value hero one that the uh, my opponent here placed on me. But basically, just try to have a card advantage, and, and you'll you'll do much better if you're using this type of deck. Now, this is like Magic the Gathering or Hearthstone, where you can construct many different types of decks. So don't let me tell you what you should uh, construct. It's constructing the deck is half the fun. So just keep a, 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 a the minimum uh, number of unit cards you can have is 22. Try not to have more than 22. Uh, have a, a small deck. That's kind of a standard thing with a lot of these collectible card games. Now, in this match, kind of getting back to what's going on here, I am absolutely getting obliterated, and I will, I will lose this one pretty bad. Um, I'm, I come within one point here in the first of three rounds with this guy, but I actually end the match just because I need to keep those cards um, for the uh, second and, and if I get to it, the third, uh, the third round. Because again, it's the best two out of three. 
and you need to win all four of these opponents in order to get the Gwent Master Trophy. So it's having cards for the second and third round is exceptionally uh, important. So I got down to two cards, and at that point, um, I just I don't know why I was trying to forfeit. Uh, at that point, I'm just gonna have to you know cut my losses and hope I can draw more cards in the second round, which is what's ultimately gonna happen. I think it was six cards to two. Um, entering the second round already down a, a match and I still uh, luckily pulled it out again I created a manual save here in case I failed because if you don't win the tournament you're not gonna get the Gwent Master Trophy which is really the only reason I'm doing this and it turns out that I actually enjoyed Gwent uh, kinda wanna go out and, and get more cards I only originally did this to get the trophy so it's it, it's, uh, it's very addictive it's I would put it up there as, you know, just as good as Magic the Gathering or Hearthstone. So, you know, whatever, to each their own. But So he's passed. Um, we're 82-76. He placed another uh, Spy card, so he drew two more cards. At this point, I can win if I want to play my two hero cards, but I instead cut my losses. Because I know at the beginning of this I'm going to draw a card. And I do have the Yennefer hero card. When you play Yennefer, you play her. And it looks like he just played it too. And when you play her, you can also then take another card out of your discard pile. So at this point, it was really kind of just you know, I'm down to one. But at this point, I played Yennefer. I'm going to pull out a spy card. Oh, actually the medic card here instead. Because when you play the medic, you can then pull another card out. So playing that one card allowed me to draw two more cards out of my discard pile. A medic and then a spy card and I place that spy card on his uh, battlefield and then I get to draw two more cards so that's really how my deck is constructed uh, with any of these card games it's obviously a luck of the draw unfortunately sometimes you get unlucky and that's just the way it is now I'm not going to uh, um, kind of ramble on any further I'm gonna let you guys just watch the rest of this match I will also put at the end of this the other three opponents as well uh, when you get to the final opponent, assuming you beat him, you will get the uh, Gwent Master Trophy. At that point, you still have to finish the quest. So don't forget to finish the quest, but you will get the trophy. And uh, I get a little lucky, especially here. But I want to thank you guys for watching. I know I just kind of rambled on for about seven and a half minutes uh, into this video. So I apologize, but uh, just go and have fun with this. Go out and get the cards. Make yourself a deck. Enjoy the game within a game. Uh, honestly, I might have bought this game on its, if it was sold on its own. It was that fun. So thanks for watching, guys. Please like, comment, subscribe, and enjoy the rest of the video. Congratulations.
I hope you'll play.
will be yours. 